Buenas tardes, good evening, everyone. My name is David Morales, and I'm a graduate student in the Stanford Teacher Education Program. It's an honor to uh, be here today and to have the opportunity to speak to you, but also to have the opportunity to thank the donors, the very generous donors uh, who have made my presence, my, my studies at Stanford possible. I was asked to share my story uh, today and I accept it because I don't think it's often that someone like myself, a uh, first generation Chicano from Barrio Logan, gets to uh, share their story, uh, fill the room with, uh, with their voice in a space like this. And my story begins with my parents, Efigenio Morales and Ana Maria Alvarado. My father has been a welder for the National Steel and Shipbuilding Company as far back as I can remember. And my mother juggled temporary jobs throughout my childhood in order to make ends meet. The truth is that both of my parents sacrificed so much so that my four younger sisters and I could have better opportunities. As a matter of fact, my mother had dreams of becoming a teacher in Mexico, but instead migrated to the United States so that her children could have better opportunities, so that I could be here today. And I see my role as a teacher, as an educator, as an advocate for social justice, as a way of continuing her legacy. I first realized the importance of education as a high school student in my Spanish class. It was in Mr. Villanueva's classroom where I learned to reclaim Spanish, my family's language, its warmth, its power, its intimacy. I learned about Mexico and Latin America the histories, the cultures, the traditions, the social movements that people led, and the struggles that they faced. But it was this knowledge that I saw myself reflected in. It was this knowledge that told a different narrative about my culture, about my family. And it was this knowledge that instilled in me the critical thinking skills and a sense of responsibility for my own community. So since high school, I have been involved in educational activism, I have organized to uh, end militarization in predominantly student of color and working class schools. I have organized to ensure that uh, all students, regardless of where they come from, regardless of where they live, have access to a rigorous college and career preparatory curriculum. And I decided to become a teacher because I think that I want to inspire students the same way that Maestro Villanueva inspired me. And I decided to become a teacher because I think that true change, true change from, from the bottom up begins with education. So last year, as I thought about what it took to become a teacher, I came across the Stanford Teaching Fellowship Program. Now attending Stanford with little to no financial assistance was, or would have meant continuing to amass my undergraduate loans and that simply wasn't an option anymore. I decided to share my story today because it's not only not often shared, but because there are many, many people like myself who have the same story, who have the same dreams and who have the same aspirations, but do not have the means or the resources to be here to achieve those dreams. I will forever be grateful for the opportunity to attend Stanford. And this is why I think the fellowship and, and the assistance and the very generous donors, it's, it's so valuable. Now, I, I wanna end with a quote that I came across recently and it really resonates with me, especially at this time. And it's by the writer, Toni Morrison. And Toni Morrison tells her students, when you get these jobs that you have been so brilliantly trained for, just remember, that your real job is that if you are free, you need to free somebody else. And if you have some power, your job is to empower somebody else. And that is my goal as a teacher. And I think that it is only through education that we will achieve a world where many worlds fit, that we will achieve a world where everyone can be treated with dignity and respect. So thank you.